<laughs> Clyde? Oh, come on! How many times have I told you to sleep on your own side of the nest? Jane's cool, but everyone else hates it when I smell like an ape. There, there he is. This is where he goes when he's not at school. Yeah, it's his urban jungle. What's up? <laughs> Besides Digsby wanting to give me a bath. Maybe you should try taking your phone with you once in a while. Oops, sorry about that. Grandfather, what's happened? I received an urgent call. Something's wrong at Greystoke Farm. What is it? We're, we're not sure. Let's just hope it's not more sabotage. It has to be. This is where we grow all the organic food for the aid packages we ship around the world. Hmm. Look, I've seen that here before. <sighs> Not them again. Ladies, gentlemen, please. I received a tip that traces of illegal pesticides were discovered in your aid packages after people became sick. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm with you, boy. I need to make my mother understand the Earl isn't the villain here. Tarzan? Tarzan? Over here. I found it. This smell. <laughs> It is deadly. You're right. Look! Poison. But Grandfather would never order it. So what is it doing here? I don't see any company name or label. It's empty. They all are. Tarzan, this much pesticide would produce a lot more than just traces. It could really make people and animals super sick. Yeah, boss. We got a problem. Monkey Boy and his girlfriend have been snooping around. You rather I go after them, or dump the pesticide for the press like we planned? Stick to the original plan. Just get it done fast. You got it, boss. Let's see what the world thinks of the Earl of Greystoke after this. <laughs> I don't understand. They just pour the poison onto the fields? No, they do it with special planes. Just like that one. What do you have to say for yourself now? That is not my play. Someone is obviously trying to frame me. <laughs> Likely story. <laughs> now to really rain on the Earl's parade. Bad idea. <laughs> Land this plane now. <laughs> Make me monkey boy. Since you asked so politely, how about I just send you down? He's <laughs> Probably give me a bonus for this. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> now the release of... ah! No more monkeying around. 
careful! You'll make this crash! Then no more stunts! Oh, okay, okay! Just, just back up, all right? <laughs> Wait! Stop! <laughs> Too bad I can't fly! Oh, no! Maybe I can talk him down. He'd answer his cell on Tarzan. Just this one, please! Which one does... Huh? Oh, what the... Who would be calling me now? Jane! What button? It's got to be one. Uh, hello, Jane. I'm a little busy right now. Tarzan, look at the control panel. There should be a button for autopilot. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, Jane, a little help. Go back on the yoke, now! Yoke? The steering wheel. Pull it towards you hard. Now! That's it. Now ease it forward and level out. Got it. Now you need to lower the landing gear. The lever should be marked. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna talk you in. First, you need to bring her around and line her up on the runway. You're doing great, just keep it steady. Oh no, look out! Your nose up, that's it! You're down, but going way too fast! Uh-oh! So which pedal is the brake? Oh, not that one! No! Oh, great. Either crash or flip the plane and dump poison. Oh! I grabbed the beast by the tail! Thanks. Who says apes can't fly? <laughs> I need to check on Grandfather and make sure the press, especially your mother, aren't eating him alive. Don't worry. I'll set my mom straight about what's really going on here. Or at least as much of it as we understand. Pilot disappearing proves it, Mom. You're accusing the wrong man. The Earl is being sabotaged, and you and the rest of the press are helping whoever's doing it. The whole story is just too extraordinary to believe. Mother, you know I'd never lie to you. Nor would I, madam. Of course not. I'm sorry. I trust my daughter implicitly. But the evidence was just so... Planted. Yes, I can see that now. That means someone really dangerous is still out there. How on earth? Wait, keep them up, Tarzan. I see something under there. Got it. What did you find? You can put them down now. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry, Digsby. So, what is it? A piece of shipping order. Unfortunately, most of it's been torn away. But I can still read the name of the ship that brought the pesticide barrels to... Southampton! I need to get back to London at once and hold a press conference to exonerate Lord Greystoke. Mrs. Porter. Call me Angela, please. Angela, I'm touched that you want to help. But it might be wiser if we did not tip our hand just yet. Mom, Lord Greystoke's right. Whoever is masterminding this might get their guard up. Or worse, feel like they need to do more damage. Obviously, I've made an enemy recently. I need to see if he's working with someone inside my organization. I think I need to dig deeper. I hope you'll let me help in some way. I'd appreciate that very much. We'll check with ICB, see if they're any closer to catching Jeremy. Fine, then. Angela and I are off to London. Aren't you coming, dear? We'll catch the evening flight home, Mom. We have something we want to uh, check out first. 
At the docks in Southampton. This is going to be my first time on a ship. I've got to admit, I'm kind of glad it's docked. We won't be long. We just need to find the manifests for the pesticides, which should tell us who ordered them. How? It's not like we can just walk up and ask a sailor. Actually, our first challenge is going to be getting off this crate without anyone noticing us. <laughs> Easy. It's just like when I want to cross a river filled with hippos. You know, they give me real pains if they decide to charge. Anyway, you need to create a diversion. Like this. Grab on! <laughs> All clear. The crate's coming loose! Look out, mate! Everyone okay? <laughs> Something just fell. Take these old manifests below. He's going to... Stay here and keep a lookout. I was going to tell you that. I called it first. Hey! Who left the portal? Great. Now I'll need a hippo-sized diversion if they catch Tarzan. Where could Tarzan be hiding? Right here. I brought you a present. The shipping manifest! Shh! It isn't as exciting as we'd hoped. There's no name on the order. But there is an address where the pesticide barrels originated. Morocco! We need to get back to London and have Grandfather's jet take us... Oh no! We're moving! That wasn't the plan. I don't want to leave the dock. Get down! Hurry! Morocco. Um, that's not gonna be a problem. Looks like we're already on our way there. Just don't laugh at me if I get seasick. <laughs> Jane, with everything that's been going on, I never got a chance to say thank you. Thank me? For what? For helping the Earl. For helping me. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Sit at home while you went out and had all the fun? <laughs> Besides, what are friends for, right? <laughs> right. So, now what? I guess we just sit back and enjoy the ride. <sighs> There's no place else I'd rather be. Um, we should call the Earl and your mother. Let them know we're okay. Um, yeah. Good idea. They must be worried sick by now. So you see, there was nothing else we could do. But at least we have the address, and we're on our way to Morocco to check it out. Thank you for letting us know. We were worried. Frankly, I'm still worried. They're stowaways. Not exactly, Mom. We didn't mean to be. Now all we can do is make the best of it. And hope Tarzan doesn't turn green. Quiet, Bigsby. What was that, Jane? Digsby sounds upset. It's gotten into... Who are you? What are you doing here? Mom, are you okay? Grandfather, what's happening? Whatever it is you want, you'll never get away with it. Jeremy. <gasps> Jeremy? Jeremy? We have to call the ICB. I thought this place would be empty. 
But hey, <laughs> this may work out even better. Ah, easy, Kingsby. I assume this is the criminal who's been trying to ruin you. He and his ape boy destroyed my entire operation. Yes. Shame on us for breaking up a poaching ring. Rather reminded me of how you handled the villains in your last film? Why, Lord Greystoke, I had no idea you were a fan. Well, I'm not, so you're going down too. On guard! What? There's a lady present. Freeze, ICB! Ouch! It's the ICB! What's going on? Are they okay? Oh, they're more than okay. I may just hire them. Thank goodness! Oh, we were so worried. I kept trying to call them back, but the phone must be off the hook. Whoops. My bad. And I shall do everything in my power to ensure you remain locked away for a very, very long time. Yeah, well, stopping me won't save you or that ape lover of yours. Mark my words, you're both going down. <laughs> Keep that <laughs> filthy mutt away from me. It's all right, Tixby. It's finally over. I hope. I'm telling you, Jane, your mother was even more amazing than in her movies. And Tarzan, your grandfather was as daring and dashing as any leading man I've ever starred with. <laughs> oh, yes. And we mustn't forget what a hero Tixby was. We're just glad you're all okay. And Jeremy is finally behind bars where he belongs. Yes. So now you two can get on the first plane back here just as soon as you dock in Morocco. Uh... Did you hear me? Yes. Sorry, Mom, but we need to be sure Jeremy wasn't working for someone on the inside. We're so close to finding out who ordered the pesticide barrels. Just promise you'll call us at the first sign of trouble. Of course, Grandfather. We better turn off the phone so we don't drain the battery. Ah, Clayton. I've been hoping to speak to you. Are you coming by? Sorry, Uncle, but I'm just about to get on a plane. I've tracked down a place that can start shipping the aid packages until our warehouse is up and running again. Very good. Do whatever it takes. Uncle, I heard the news about the pesticide. It's not true, right? Of course not. The good news is Tarzan and Jane believe they've found a clue to who's behind the sabotaging. Is that so? Oh, I, I've just got to run now. Clayton, thank you for keeping their dream alive. It's important to me as well, Uncle. in Morocco, right on schedule. Excellent, excellent. Don't let them out of your sight and stick to the plan. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your trip, babe boy. It's gonna be your last.